Hey guys, how are we doing? Hope you guys are well. Welcome back to another video. We are in Jurassic Survival. Hope you guys are doing great. Okay, so, um, alrighty. So I wanted to jump into this little zone here and basically I just wanted to collect some resources. So what I want to do with my base today is I just wanted to get some um, basics and fundamentals up and running so we can get some progression in the game. Um, it's going to take a little bit for us to do so, so I thought I'll take you guys along, share the adventure, and hopefully, um, yeah, we'll get some progression happening. Actually, what I wanted to do first is I wanted to quickly run out of the zone, and I just want to show you something real quickly. And I won't actually do it, but I just want to just give you guys a bit of an idea as to why I'm sort of bringing this up now, and this is sort of the tie-in with, you know, the last a and Earth series and things like that. Notice the airdrop here looks like a standard airdrop as you as it would be and you know naturally you just want to run across uh, jump into the event and away you go I'm not actually going to do that today and the reason for that is you have to install last day in earth in order for you to do that really really strange um, really strange so let me just actually you know what bugger it I'll show you yes I'm going to uh, use up a little bit of energy but you know it is what it is so let's just run across and I want to show you this and I just want to show you exactly what I mean in order for me to enter the airdrop I need to install last day on earth why I understand that the developers are pretty much co-development it is a, a very similar if not the same type of project and I think this was actually mentioned well over a year ago um, you know through the the main or major uh, YouTube, uh, you know, uh, uploaders and streamers. So um, that was pretty much debunked a very long time ago. That you know that the um, both developers had a tie-in with both games, more so Last Day and Earth. But um, as you can see there, quite clearly, you need Last Day and Earth in order for you to actually um, make use of this game I guess and that's just really really annoying I mean I haven't had last day on earth installed on my phone for quite some time and it's just the pure fact that I don't simply play it my own personal reasons behind it um, but yeah I just find it quite strange that you need that game as a parent game in order for you to play this game yes on the service they are two different games but they are very very similar when you sort of dig deep um, you know uh, you know game um, Game format aside, you know, zombies versus dinosaurs, two different things. Um, but otherwise, yeah, this is what you're sort of looking at here. Um, and I find that quite strange. I, can't, I probably find it a little bit annoying, to be honest with you, that you have to go down that pathway and do so. I don't know why you should be doing that in the first place. But anyway, I don't want to sort of ramble on it or get stuck on it for too long. But I just thought I'd bring that up. And it's just a good thing to sort of look at as well for people that are wanting just to, you know, play this game. You're going to have to obviously make some space in order for you to play, you know, um, uh, in, well, to have Last Day on Earth installed on the phone in order for you to actually play this game. So, yeah, I just I just found it quite strange and odd. But anyway, we'll uh, digress and we'll continue on and um, see what else that we can sort of get our hands on whilst we're in the zone here. But if you guys haven't done so already, I do encourage to for you guys to check out the um, the Facebook developer page for Jurassic Survival. Just simply uh, type in Jurassic Survival and you'll find it. But there are um, a number of posts that have been made in the last week um, in between videos and um, possible um, rendering and sketchings of the upcoming boss or new bosses, I should say. Um, haven't really sort of divulged um, too, too far into it, but You'll be able to find that out if you guys have a bit of a peek. And there is a little, um, I believe it was, like a, well, not a contest, but more, more so a um, sort of like a teaser. You know, if you could decipher a, a code that they sort of made um, on a post there. And if you sort of uh, take a look at it there, I believe there's been a follow-up post already made with that. So you'll be able to sort of check that out. I do encourage that you guys have a bit of a peek and, um, yes, have a look at it. Okay, so we've got a bit of a level up going on here at the moment. I'm just going to grab the main chest of the zone and we'll be able to um, hopefully head on back 
uh, can I take all? I do want the cogwheels and the water. What do I take away? Um, well, I need to eat, so that's one thing. So let's just take that, because I know I'm going to need this pretty soon. Um, actually, what I might do is do that, grab that. Perfect. There we go. That sort of worked out. Um, unfortunately, inventory is full on that one, so you might have to do this. I don't want to get involved in that little cluster of dinos and saber-toothed tigers, so I'm going to leave them alone. And I'm just going to sort of head down this way and just pick up what I can, where I can kind of thing. And hopefully um, they will leave us alone. But yeah, guys, um, like I said, definitely go ahead and check out the Facebook page because there are a few things happening over there in that space. And hopefully it's going to excite some of you guys um, to get back into the game. And I hope that you guys do do just that. Um, all right, quick recap. Where are we at with things? We are pretty much there with everything. I'm just going to wrap that. And let's just take you out. And I'm hoping to get some meats and things like that, but not successful so far, which is not a good thing. Yep. Okay, and let's just finish you. Ah, uh, rope. Okay. Um, I do want to get some rope, but... I might have to leave that behind because I don't have the space, unfortunately. And this is the other thing that's really annoying. Um, when you sort of look at the format of the um, of your inventory, you're you're missing out in um, basically. I, th I guess when you sort of work it out, actually, you might actually have just sort of thinking it. Uh, you do have sufficient amount of space. It is pretty standard on on face value when you sort of look at it. Uh, the inventory that is, you do see that you've got four of each, um, uh, four of each space here. Oh, okay. Well, seeing that that airdrop disappeared and that was last day in Earth focused, a humanitarian aid had opened up there. So I'm guessing that you can jump into that, but the actual, uh, you know what, we might, we might check it out. Let's, let's just go and drop off this first. And um, we will head back out because I want to, I want to test this out. Whether that was a bit of a, a premature rant, I don't know, but I, I guess a, a rant nonetheless because you, I really want to make sure that you guys have got the the right information. But um, I guess things like this do pop up from time to time. So uh, let me just drop off some of this over here, and maybe throw one over here. Let's just do that and that and that and put the cog wheel there. Okay, and what do I have over here, which was my wood? And this would be, yep, okay, that and that. I'm just going to drop that there for now. All right. All right, so let's just quickly head out. So like I said, I want to make sure that I've got the right info out to you guys so at least you guys are, you know, well informed. But I just, I guess. You know, oh, crash car. The crash car is a harder event. I don't want to do the hard event because I know that it is harder. But the airdrop's quite easy. So the airdrop's going to give us a bit of a chance to, um, you know, grab a few things here and there as well. So hopefully um, we will, you know, find uh, those certain items and things like that. So I just want to sort of quickly run through and, um, yeah, we'll have a bit of a peak ski. Uh, so, all right, so definitely, okay, cool. So you can definitely jump in the, um, I guess, the dinosaur uh, influenced airdrop, I guess, judging by the, you know, the pictures and things like that, when you sort of look at the thumbnail of it before you jump in. Oop, who have we got here? Oh, uh, Dilophosaurus. I don't know if I have what it takes here. Maybe. All right, cool. May as well grab some bamboo while I'm on the way here. And you know what? I might just grab while I'm over here. I'm going to try and head into the center. There it is. So at least you can, you I guess, go through one of them. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. 
Okay, so let's just keep hitting you. Hopefully we will... Oh no! Oh, he's a spitter. Completely forgot all about that. Okay. Alright, so hopefully take two. And we should be able to open this up and see the goodies inside, if any. Alrighty. Come on, come on, come on. Um, Alright, well, may as well take those. It's better than nothing. Nothing that we can immediately use aside from the wrench, actually. The wrench will probably be a good thing that we can use for now. Um, I just want to sort of uh, grab a few things here. But I guess I was wrong in a sense. Um, so, I, I guess with the tie-in with the Last Day on Earth team versus the Jurassic Survival team, that they've sort of intertwined the games where if you want to do a certain event, um, you're going to have to have the game downloaded, I guess. So, I guess that's the thing. So, it is what it is. I haven't actually seen that in a game before. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Velociraptor. Um, do you have any meat? Will you give me any meat? No, you didn't drop anything. At the expense of my life there, I nearly died, but that's okay. Um, I just want to see if I can get a little bit more of those pineapple saplings and, and whatnot here. So, let's just grab a few things over here. And, um, just grab a few over here. And I, I don't want to push my luck. Definitely, I don't want to do that. But I just want to make sure I've got a sufficient amount of, um, you know, resources here. So, when I do take it home, um, you know, I don't run out and I have to make another trip out somewhere. So... Just going to quickly do some of that and we can sort of get back home and finish it off i guess but let's see let's see we got over here and over here oh you literally just spawned in are you serious you know what it's not worth it because i'm not going to take you on and i'm not, I'm not going to die so yeah all right, so let's uh, run back home. Um, may as well just buy it. That's fine. I really don't mind, to be honest with you. So, yes, um, it's, it's actually been quite quite a while since I've been restricted by energy in a game. So that's something that I ha I'm not used to, um, and that and it's been like that for quite some time. Some of the other games that I play, uh, one in particular, Saga of Survival, doesn't have an energy system. Um, Westland Survival that I'm currently playing at the moment does have a energy rated system, but you can easily get by with um, the use of a horse. And so long as you've got oats, you can pretty much go anywhere. And then you've got uh, Dawn of uh, Zombie Survival, and that's another game that's um, quite interesting at the moment. So based on your eating habits and things like that, you'll be able to regenerate um your health in a timely manner so i'm just doing some quick inventory management here for now and i just want to sort of get things out of the way so i can um yeah get right to it okay so at the moment we did go through a couple of level ups in game so what have we opened up here so i want to get the garden bed sorted and a shower that might be a good call campfire most definitely so we'll definitely do a campfire or two if we can uh garden bed absolutely and we might see if we can get the rain catcher happening so at least this way we've got a source of water coming through so let's see what we'll, what i think we'll need we'll need some of that some of possibly this um okay cool at least we've got that and I think I needed some of that as well. Not too sure if I need that, but I'll just grab it anyway. And I think we may have needed leaves. So let's go ahead and try that, all that. And stone, of course. Of course, stone. Uh, here we go. All right. So let's do this now. So that's one. And I think you can craft two, I believe. Yep. I'm pretty sure you can do two. And... A workbench, most definitely. Garden bed, 100%. And I think you can do two of these as well. And what else can I do here? With the resources that I've got, of course. Um, Alright. 
So before we do that, let's just build them. Um, you know what? I might just possibly build them up here for the minute. Or well, I want to do it to the side. And I do need this to be in here. Ooh, that's going to be a problem. I'm going to have to start expanding pretty soon, actually. So expand we will we'll probably do i'll probably do that off camera maybe unless if you guys want me to do a base building video that might be interesting let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do that um i'm happy to sort of make that happen of course and all right so we've got that and what else did i wanted to make so good i've got the rain catcher done uh, stone cutters table won't be able to do and I don't know if I've got enough for the furnace actually no I don't but if I do cut this down here I should have enough for the furnace so it's good that the um, your starting zone will actually give you enough resources to get most of these done so at least this way uh, you guys can you know sort of get yourselves up and running uh, to a point of course all right, so furnace, yes. Um, I've done the shower, I think I, did I do the shower? I think I did, hang on. I did not do the shower. Okay, so the shower's gonna be next on my shopping list actually. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. That is it, all right. So let's go ahead and build one furnace and build one rain catcher. Alrighty, so looks like we've got some things happening already with the base. And let's drop you into here. And for now, I think you can only give me iron. Yep, so I won't be able to get any of these um, other items just yet. But for now, we do have some things happening here, which is good. Oh, I wanted to grab these guys purposely and drop these in because these take a ton of time to craft so over t so 20 hours yeah definitely don't want to stick around for that and um, for now that's pretty much it but that's it guys I think um, we've done plenty in this video here uh, go ahead let me know in the comments what you thought about it if you guys enjoyed it or not hit the like button let me know just that if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. But I'm going to leave it here. So I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching as always, and I'll catch you next time.